we talked about the different types of contracts. How does the type of contract determine the compliance requirements for the job? Well, there's um, all contracts you have to comply. All of them you have to be compliant. Now, as far as them coming in and being able to determine whether you're compliant or not, a firm fixed price has less opportunities for them to come in and determine whether you did the right testing or whether you had an engineer three working on it instead of an engineer, an engineer two or whatever you did. On that one, the compliance is usually once you deliver the product, they will test it and make sure it meets the end requirements and if it meets the end requirements, they have to assume you're compliant. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't mean it, then they start researching why you're not. Mm -hmm. Under time and material, your invoices will identify whether it's compliant or not. And on the invoices, you'll be identifying the labor that has uh, worked on the contracts or the machinery or equipment, whatever it may be, you'll bill them based on the rate in the contract and the units that you build against, those are, can be reviewed at any time. Mm -hmm. So they can come two, min two months into a 10 month project and they can audit your practices or they can review at any time to see if you're compliant with those contracts. So the more complex the contract is, the, the more uh, opportunities government has to come in and determine whether you've been compliant or not.